Have you ever struggled to pray for certain people? Come on now, be honest. What about your supervisor, maybe your boss, or how about the president? Well, regardless of politics or your personal preferences, the Bible actually instructs us to pray for them, even if we don't like them, even if we don't agree with them. Actually, Timothy probably had some issue with this, and that's why Paul had to write to him, and he said this, First of all, then, I urge you that petitions, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgiving be made for all people. And then he specifies, he says, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. Now, it's crazy that Paul would say this because he faced persecution from religious leaders and even Emperor Nero. Yet he realized that praying for those in authority was important. So he teaches us to support and not to rebel against the government or any authorities, whether it's our parents or the president, all so that we could live peacefully and pursue God's purposes. See, prayer transcends political barriers as we seek God's will for our families, our jobs, our communities, and our nation. It keeps us focused on his purpose, including his desire that all men to be saved. So let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we lift up those uh, that are in authority over us uh, from the least to the greatest. And uh, Lord, we acknowledge that you are the ultimate authority and, uh, and we want to pursue your purposes and we know that your purposes will prevail. So God, I pray that you help us to honor them, uh, to not speak negatively against them, and in fact, to even obey them. In fact, Lord, we pray that you would uh, grant them your grace, that you would give them your guidance, uh, and Lord, that they would have wisdom to lead us well. And most importantly, God, that they would come to know you and your salvation, that they would become uh, a Christians, that they would get that personal relationship and meaningful relationship with you, all for the purpose that we could live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. Amen.